Get more from your TV advertising with science and technology. Use data to build an audience for your services. Uncover insights and create powerful connections. We know media planners are explorers, curious about how new ideas work. Now, automated TV planning can be right on your desktop. We view planners as heroes for growth, spotting new opportunities. Your brand can grow with targeted TV. You can do this. Hey everyone, thanks for your time and thanks for stopping by. This is Shelley Stansfield from Centraply. Welcome to the Centraply webinar series. I'm here with Kaylin Chinaritas, who will be working with me to answer questions and guide you through the opportunities and realities of targeted TV advertising. This installment of our series is a guided tour of our cutting edge TV planning technology. You'll see a programmatic approach to applying data to audience buying. And then to make it unique for our users, we add location and more data and transparency into the inventory and the cost. We found many agencies are curious about how to get more out of TV. You wanted more planning abilities than what Strata or Core could offer. You might have a client that doesn't fit into a traditional TV DMA. So how do you find out what TV time can be used around their locations? You're looking to develop a strategy so that you can address different audience segments. But how do you find them? To inform that strategy, how do you budget or plan a campaign with enough detail for a client and still keep it flexible and realistic enough so that you have a good spec for your buyers, something they can execute? What's that saying? Oh, yeah, a bad spec is the enemy of a good buy. I'd agree to that. To answer all these questions, we've rolled out our Tango Media Suite. This way, you can have the power to strategize and plan effective TV campaigns all across the country. Targeted TV supports planners by giving them the tools and two different ways to find audiences. To drive growth, use it to increase foot traffic to a faltering location, or to nurture growth for a franchisee who's willing to push more into TV for, say, a seasonal lift. Or you can fill gaps in a video or network campaign where you need to heavy up with impressions. To discover new opportunities for growth, consider triggers from Google Correlate and search trends to direct a pharmaceutical campaign into the right area of the country for allergy season. Then close that loop on ROI, and you can measure growth down to the zip code for sales now or other KPIs. The next 30 minutes were developed especially for making you an expert in targeted TV planning. We make advanced TV easy to understand and easy to explain with Centraply's data-driven techniques to reach customers and grow high-value audiences and communities. With advanced TV, you avoid surprises, have transparency, safe network environments, and you can keep control over that media spend. We expect TV to do more. We make it walk and talk like digital by using data-driven analytics and granular measurement for our advertisers. For 25 years, we've been at the forefront of tracking and evaluating media delivery and value from the specific view of the agency with transparency, stewardship, and scale. It's all about delivery, right? Geofence trading areas around each of your locations, they're measurable. And you'll have the ability to target custom locations well below the TV DMA level, like counties, cities, or states. All of this can be done now. There are tons of opportunities to get in front of customers in the right TV programming in all different places around the country. These are high quality and customized ways for brands to advertise to TV audiences that are appropriate for their messages. We're not talking about remnant time or packaged inventory deals where you don't know where you're going to be running. We're not a vendor or a rep. So as an independent agency, we firmly believe brands deserve to have access to advanced TV capabilities. As a TV specialist, we serve agencies by introducing the ability to add TV campaigns at a national, regional, or hyper-local level to find concentrated audiences in specific locations and know the price of those impressions so that the buyers can choose what's the right value for them, not the media owner. Oh, here's Kaylin. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us today. This is Kaylin Chenaritas. Before we begin, we wanted to cover a few housekeeping items. 
You'll see at the bottom of your screen there are multiple widgets. They are resizable movable, so feel free to move them around. If you have any questions during the webinar, you can submit them through the Q&A widget. We'll try to answer as many as possible during the webinar, but if you need more detailed answers or we run out of time, we'll answer them via email. Also, a copy of today's slide decks and additional helpful materials are available in the resource list. If you have any issues with the platform, you can find additional answers to some common technical issues located in the help widget at the bottom of your screen. Hey, Kaylin, thanks so much. There's a lot going on on that screen. Just a minute more on that resource list. I'm going to pull up some examples of what we were talking about. So you have a clear picture of how chock full of materials this list is. Starting from the left, we've included an introduction to Targeted TV Packet. It's a 10-page booklet that provides an easy way for you to explain and understand a TV solution that's based on targeted TV audiences, location, programming, and cost. In that packet, we also include a checklist to quickly answer when is targeted TV right. There are maps, which make the concept easy to see, and a use case is included in that one too. In the center, uh, I've included an infograph of what the whole TV marketplace looks like, starting from the broadest reach of broadcast TV on the top down to a single user and a device-centric digital option. As marketers, you need to know the advantages and the limits of each and how they'll be combined for a full view of the whole video stack. Up top in the center is a circle of data illustrating the retargeting ability of TV. By using the same digital audience segments, to reinforce media performance and lead the way with data, it's reinforced at each step to complete the ROI measurement and support ongoing decisions. And on the top right is a six step guide on how your agency can get started with a targeted TV strategy. Oh, a quick note, before we get to the technology part of the webinar, we should mention that we have a survey that'll just take a minute. We're truly interested in knowing your areas of interest so that we can develop more materials to support your journey into the future of advanced TV. It's located in the center of the widget bar at the bottom of your screen. It looks like a link and it opens to another window, so feel free to take it at any time during the webinar. As a little gift for taking the survey, we'll email you a Starbucks gift card. We also have an on-demand library of four previously released webinars and 10, count them, use cases about how different industries can reach their customers. And don't be afraid to ask. If you don't see a category listed, just type into the chat box and we'll be happy to send one off. There are not many areas that we haven't tackled. We have a real soft spot for retailers. And that first webinar shows how powerful a targeted TV campaign can be for a retailer. It covers how targeted TV supports driving retail sales by location, including how customer reach can be measured within a drive time radius, and the ability to use mailing lists and all sorts of digital data for driving TV audiences to becoming customers. The second one is about TV attribution. It clarifies how TV impressions can be tracked against sales lift by zip code for TV ROI. We've engineered a process so that you can build trust and real communication at a scale in a systematic way. TV can create awareness. It can get attention and build relationships with your digital channels to grow your prospects. And the third webinar is for consultants, CMOs, or salespeople who need to bring current ideas and new opportunities to their clients in media. It's about increasing the efficiency of in-house resources and adding to the impact of campaign performance. One of my favorites is how a digital agency can tap into TV to extend their service offer and grow their business. These are just some of the educational materials we provide. So these can help to change the mindset that may still linger with some brands, that media is just not a cheap commodity. You can show that solid planning can elevate TV commercials to leverage being in the right content in the right location that counts in front of the right audience and it's real. Awesome. You guys are going to be ready to talk targeted TV in no time. That's a ton of material. So TV will never be the same for marketers and it shouldn't be. Now when we say advanced TV, our team is referring to the category of audience-based buying, which is a great starting point and then we take it two steps further. That's why we call it targeted TV. It's referring not only to the data-driven audience or people-based advertising, but we add location 
and media comparison and measurement into the mix. You should expect tracking your TV promotion offers to your website, geofence trading areas around brick and mortar locations that are then measured and the impressions that fall outside of those areas don't count in my book. And you have the ability to target custom areas well below TV DMAs like counties, cities, and states. Our unique ability to track TV inventory allows marketers to know where and how to get their messages out to the right audience. We can tell you what the options are and where the media value is to your advantage. Coordination with offline mailing lists, loyalty programs, or website visits can be measured for ROI, and there are other business KPIs. Check out our blog, centriply.com, if you'd like to contribute to that discussion. I did just see Syntech Media recently produced a study that found that demand for advanced TV is readily being compared to digital bad buying. That makes plenty of sense to us. We're not a publisher, so we want what you want. And we've designed the platform for you. Uh, what's really important to planners and buyers is reach and GRPs. While conversion is significant and impacted by audience, product, message, and environment, planners understand that effective communication is achieved by a campaign crafted through balancing key attributes, budget, reach, and frequency. When you're considering TV, you want fast transactions. You want easy delivery, big scale, without phone calls and waiting for proposals. We hear you. Technical and organizational friction within TV companies often creates barriers, and that frustrates media planners and buyers looking for easy ways to buy audience-targeted campaigns. What part can TV play in your strategy? In just a few clicks, you can see what your options are. Here are four quick steps on how to get started, and then we'll get into the dashboard. The brand strategist or the agency account person creates an audience using info from the brand CRM, Experian, or LiveRamp segment. Any number of these options will work. The platform is built from the census block up, so we know very clearly how concentrated the audience is. A plan is developed, then the buy is placed, and after that, we track impressions delivered, match those back to devices, households, or zips. After that, we measure the sales lift or website visits. And with the scale of TV, the KPIs can increase very quickly, and the agencies keep their fee. So what does that look like? There are two ways to reach audiences in targeted TV. Planners told us they often know who they want to reach, just not where. So we'll start exploring in this dashboard first. Digital agencies are pretty familiar with audience-based media planning, looking into the inventory of what a group watches. We go a step further than that. What makes us unique is our ability to search through audience programming and then let you know what geography the impressions are going to happen in. And next, we'll look the other way, where you already have the locations and want to know what's available nearby. What you're seeing on the left is our Tango NVO, which stands for National Video Inventory Optimizer. It's nationally scaled, web-based technology, and it applies indexing across TV networks and day parts and location to combine and measure what's most appropriate programming for that group, and then let us know where the best deals are for the highest concentration of audiences. It has fast automated inventory selection to sort spots across 600 million impressions a week for planning. And our audience today is going to be Asian households interested in scratch-off games. On the right, you'll see Tango Geo, and it starts with the power of where. This map has locations already plotted. You can put in as many as you like. And with Geo on the right, we ask where is your audience in relation to your locations, and how many can you get your message in front of? Let's get out of these pages and see a real user. We'll go look over Kaylin's shoulder. Come on. Hey, Kaylin, we're going to take a look at your planning dashboard. Let's take a peek over her shoulder. She's chosen to look across the whole country for Asian households that are interested in scratch-off games. Hmm. This is pretty tough to see from here. Uh, let's jump right into the screen. Oh, that's a lot better. Much clearer. Now. This dashboard's purpose is to find your audience anywhere in the country. You can search the whole U.S. or any combination of DMAs or states. Using the same audience segment as the digital campaign, we ask it to go find the communities. 
In this case, we've pulled Asian populations anywhere in the U.S. That's around 14 and a half million people. Now, just choosing Seattle would have been an option too, but today we're letting the platform tell us where the opportunity lies. There are lots of preloaded segments, many standard syndicated ones from Experian or LiveRamp, and we can include custom first party audiences too. You want to get answers quickly, so we developed a fast way to see if you're even in the ballpark. With just two clicks, you get answers. Choose an audience and a budget or a TRP level and boom. Now back to this brand. They were looking for groups that play scratch off games and Scarborough data told us the highest rated networks and where they were. The platform looks through all the breaks. We've been tracking network local breaks for over 10 years to find what's the right programming and location for your audience all at once. We don't do sequential elimination and you have controls to eliminate things like overnight day parts and networks. Uh, this client wanted household demo measurement. Kaylin asked it to look at the entire pool of inventory at once, kind of like a giant sifter, and here it has pretty colors. Next, the client said, I have 50000 a week. What will that get me? We see that she can cover 50% of the Asian population with 20 TRPs. Let's look at the details of how that breaks out. The big surprise here is the bottom right chart. That's 50% of the Asian population, and it turns out it's located in 19% of the country. That's significant. The top right green box shows you the media plan. For $50,717 a week, you can cover 7,251,000 Asian households. Next, you can see 1,900,000 impressions would qualify for that audience. And the CPM is $11.48, very comparable to other media CPMs. The average frequency for one week is 1.4, and obviously you would want a longer running campaign to get the frequency up. And she can change the inputs for that. The geographic index tells us that the power of putting your ads in these highly concentrated areas be twice as many Asian households with instant game players than the national average. The programming index shows the choices that were made and how they add more impact too. So combined with the day part indexing, the campaign index tells us that this plan packs three times more bang for the buck when applied to our high value audience in areas chosen compared to the national average. We can change the network list the day part mix, and there are controls for adjusting coverage and media weight. There are lots of controls for whitelisting networks, excluding day parts, all that stuff, but it will raise the price too. One week really is the minimum that we recommend. The only exception I know of is that some video on demand clients specify just running for three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You know, to get viewers to watch a newly re released movie over the weekend, and see that's okay, to me that's more of a tune-in effort uh, or an impulse purchase and it works to drive viewers to these new releases by letting the automation find the most efficient spots you get the best price super fast we've built constraints within the algorithm so that you don't get an unrealistic plan and try to hand it off to the buying team running different versions can quickly show you a range of options when you've completed your exploration of targeted TV land, you have to just click the map and up pops the locations where the impressions will appear. Moving on to Tango Geo. Since it's summertime and Kaylin likes going to the movies, she pulled up a theater chain and plotted the locations on a map. It's their own little universe. The agency knows which regions prefer different types of movies. We coordinated with the digital department to pull the same audience segments as the social and digital campaigns, which was an experience segment of a moviegoer action division. Then she asks if platform, go find the audiences in those communities. She can also ask things like, how far do customers drive to the locations and create a drive time radius? Does the theater offer a loyalty program that tracks purchase activity? Is there a sales KPI that we can measure against? For some movie change, they may want to boost selling more at the concession stand or promote items like action figures. Now that 
would probably be a different audience than, say, for an R-rated romantic comedy. For other kinds of retailers, we ask if they have zip codes of shipped items or a mailing list. Any one of those things can tie into a location, and it can be used to drive a media plan that finds your community on Tango Geo. In this case, 1,246 cable systems touch the locations. On the left is the selection for different types of geography that you can choose from standard TV DMAs to cities, counties, states, zips, whichever. For this project, she's going to ask for all 648 locations with a five mile radius. And what do we see when we drill down into, I don't know, let's say Atlanta. Lots of options open up. High indexing cable systems are all around these locations. Alpharetta shines with a 146 index, and on a target value, there are 11,151 action movie lovers. East Gwinnett has, mm, looks like 18,000, and Buford has over 15,000. Once you've done all of your exploring and you're satisfied with your plan, both Tango NVO and Tango Geo come with lots of reports and outputs, like client-ready maps and lists to support you when you're presenting your plans to your boss or client. And after that plan's been approved, and maybe there was a little round of applause, who knows, your saved plans can be exported to Tango Buyer for refinement and creating insertion orders. By using these platforms, your strategy isn't shared with the vendors. Media plans need to have flexible GRP levels where coverage and weight are adjustable. We get that. We often use targeted TV to increase share of voice in a noisy market and deliver high frequency. And with A-B testing, you can have measurement of areas of high or low sales response and then optimize your TV campaigns accordingly. What we've seen is that small moves can set big things in motion, especially when it comes to navigating the disruption in the TV advertising landscape. There are ways to unlock assets to get more complete solutions for your clients, and they're already working. These Tango Media Systems applications have the ability to combine many levels of TV inventory options, adding data and hyperlocal targeting ability with scale. This is a low risk move from video to TV impressions, and they're being delivered all around a single location, or you can go up to a national campaign tracking results all along the way. Targeted TV allows a digital agency to offer unique service to grow the business. It's available as a managed service or you can choose different pieces for a self-serve option. To find out if a targeted TV platform is right for your brand or agency, we're offering a we our webinar listeners today an audience analytics package. It's worth over $1,700 in credit, and this will let you find out if targeted TV will work for your brand or agency before committing to anything. The analysis includes targeted TV maps up to 10 locations, uh, with or without a drive time radius, if that's important to you, zip code analysis, so you'll see where the concentrations of your audiences are two different audience counts with on and off target numbers, and the network options that are available in that area. Many times there are more than 50. All of this lets you decide if it's right for you. We want to alleviate the pain of creating cross-screen media plans and be able to use the same data for TV as digital. This goes a long way towards that. We want benchmarks for TV and we believe performance marketing is a reality, and that's what we're built for. Targeted TV attribution allows you to expect more from your TV budgets. You can benchmark your custom universes for client KPIs, focus your TV weight where it will have the greatest target impression value, and focus that weight where it will have the greatest impact on business outcomes. Hey, Kaylin, I see we're getting to our time limit. So anyone who submitted a question, we're happy to follow up and we'll reach out and give you more details. Keep an eye out for 
more in our webinar series. The next one is for buyers, and it goes into greater detail when sorting the inventory. We have inventory tracking and sorting capabilities that apply the same data segments all the way through the process so that you know the value of each spot, not just the price. Then you can send out the insertion orders to the vendors. And we also have one coming out for using advanced TV for audience targeting that can be HIPAA and GDPR compliant. One thing we can recommend is to reach out to us after this webinar is over and sign up for a strategy session. There's no obligation after you see it. That way, specific situations with your business can really be addressed. We can give more detailed answers on questions that you may have on your specific situation. Talk about whether you're web focused or brick and mortar and things like price points of your product could all affect the strategy and tactics that we would suggest. And then mostly, how would this fit into the rest of your media plan? Thanks everyone so much for your time today. Hey, welcome to the future of TV.